and this is engineering drawing tutorials and myself Vipul Deshmukh I'll be your companion for this beautiful journey of engineering drawing now this is the most interesting subject of your first year and in this very first lecture we're going to learn about what is the syllabus for engineering drawing and what is the meaning of projection so let us go ahead and start with the syllabus the first chapter is projection of points the second chapter is projection of lines the third chapter is projection of planes the fourth chapter is projection of solid the fifth chapter is section of solid the sixth chapter is section of solid and development of lateral surfaces the seventh chapter is orthographic projection and the eighth chapter is sectional orthography and the ninth chapter the final chapter is isometric projection so students this is your entire syllabus for engineering drawing it is a very interesting syllabus you're going to learn many things and this journey is going to be a very beautiful journey okay so let us start with the syllabus if you read carefully it is projection of something projection of points projection of lines projection of planes but what is exactly projection so let us go ahead and study what is projection to understand projection let us consider a screen in a dark room i'm placing a cylindrical object in front of that screen and keeping a light source if i switch on the light source screen will get illuminated but there will be a shadow of the cylinder this shadow of the cylinder is nothing but the projection of cylinder on the screen this is what projection is so let us go ahead and learn the same thing in a more systematic way so i am considering a horizontal plane hp and another plane which is a vertical plane vp these two planes are perpendicular to each other and the intersection of these two planes will be a straight line now these two planes divide the entire space into four quadrants so this is your first quadrant this is your second quadrant this is your third quadrant and this is your fourth quadrant now i'm placing cylinder in the first quadrant and my light source like this it is perpendicular to vp so if i switch on the light source light rays will travel like this and they will create a shadow on the vp okay but we are going to consider only those light rays which are perpendicular to vp and those light rays will be parallel to each other such light rays will form this particular shadow okay so this is what we are observing from front side of the cylinder so this is your front view and now i am going to change the position of my light source now it is perpendicular to hp again i am switching on the light source light rays will travel like this they will again form the shadow but this time shadow will be a circle because it is a cylinder and we are observing from the top of the cylinder hence it is a top view now you have the front view as well as the top view of a cylinder but as you can observe this is the 3d representation of projection which is difficult if you want to represent complex object hence there has to be some conversion from 3d to 2d so for that i am going to rotate my horizontal plane like this and after rotation it will get merged with the vertical plane and if you are observing from this direction you will see this particular view where white line is your intersection of vp and hp and if you draw the same thing on paper you will get xy line which is intersection of plane above xy line it is vertical plane below xy line it is horizontal plane and that rectangle is your front view and the circle is your top view so here completes your projection of cylinder this is what projection is but what is exactly use of this what is the meaning of this projection why an engineer need to know all this what is the application of all this information all these questions will be answered in the very next lecture of this engineering drawing tutorials okay so till then thank you very much see you in the next module and if you want to learn more such amazing stuffs please join us at the following locations thank you